What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about viruses. Um, this actually is a topic that did not even exist in the previous syllabus at all. So this is completely new and I honestly think it's pretty much just because of COVID. Just because COVID-19 happened, which is a virus, right? We know COVID-19 is a virus. I guess now they just want you guys to know about it, right? Because maybe there'll be another virus attack at some point soon. So um, I guess this is something new for you guys. So viruses, there's a, a few things that we got to cover here, but it, I don't think it's too challenging. The extent to which, I got, to which you guys need to know it is not too bad. So let's just get into it. So a virus, virus. So first of all, where is it? Can you see a virus? No way. You cannot see a virus. A virus is teeny, teeny, tiny, um, even tinier than bacteria, even tinier than, than bacteria and bacteria are tiny. So basically viruses are super, super small. And I want to give you some examples. Um, you know, rabies, right? Rabies is um, that um, a virus that actually um, can, can infect dogs, right? And it can be transmitted from dogs to humans, right? This virus will infect these dogs, causing them to go crazy, essentially, and um, um, kind of behave abnormal for a normal dog, right? Normal dogs are not so crazy or not so violent, but it makes them go violent. And you can see it a lot in their saliva. You can see they have a lot of saliva hanging. It's kind of unusual. And when they bite a human, it will get transmitted to the human. And it pretty much guarantees death to a human if you're not vaccinated. It's one of the most um, dangerous, highest death rate um, viruses ever. So um, that's one example of a virus. And we got other, other ones like Spanish flu, HIV, COVID-19, surprise, surprise, and influenza, right? So there's many kinds of viruses and there's way, way many more, many, many, many kinds. So we know that they matter because they clearly do. We just had covid we know rabies is dangerous. We know HIV. These are all the things we've probably heard about. So it's definitely important to know about. So let's get let's continue. So a good way for me to explain about a virus really is is to relate back to the idea of the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. We know we can divide all living things on Earth into two kinds of cells, right? Um, let me show you here. We can do it as prokaryotic. Prokaryotic cells is one category. Um, and eukaryotic is the other category. So this makes, um, how this works is, right, all organisms on Earth has a common ancestor where all living things originated from. So over time, these three big domains form, eukarya, archaea, and bacteria. And they're all made up of cells, right? All living things are made up of cells. But there's a difference. Two categories were made based on the how the cells look. This category had cells that were different from this category. So they called them eukaryotic cells. There were some structural differences. They looked a bit different than these here, which were called prokaryotic cells. So eukaryotic cells, right, are, are things like um, that all plants are made of, all animals are made of, um, all these kind of things, the things that we typically think of uh, as living things. And then prokaryotic cells will be things like bacteria, very small things that can infect you. They can also be useful for you, all these kind of things. So if this is eukaryotes, and eukaryotes includes the things I just mentioned, and this is prokaryotes, so where's viruses? So viruses does not fall into any of these categories because a virus is non-living. It is not considered a living thing, and you'll see later on in the video why. Um, so that's what I want you to understand. Virus is non-living. That's where we got to start. A virus does not fall into any kind. It's not a cell. A cell is a thing that can carry out the functions of life, right? So a virus is not a cell, it is not a living thing, it is not in any of these categories, it is its own independent uh, identity, okay, a virus. It's not living. That's important to know. Okay, so now, um, you need to, there's a few words we need to know, and you may know about them now because of the whole COVID thing that happened, so let's start with some key words. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.